Last year, BMW South Africa held a competition inviting some of their dealers around the country to enter. And the competition was all about customizing and personalizing a BMW R18. Now, I followed the journey and the custom project of BMW 4Ways. And what a stunning project that was. And I'll blend that episode in at the end. But I'm back at BMW and I spotted five of the finalist bikes here behind me. And I thought I'd do a quick episode and share with you the creative ideas and what can actually be created out of a standard R18 starting off as a canvas. Looking at this, the first of the five custom projects, this would be my favorite, but that's personal taste. Reason I say it's my favorite is because it actually reminds me and harks back to the, the um, prototype, if you want to call it, the first showing to the public of the concept bike, the R18. Now that was in the style of a bobber, as per this one. And they have added more heritage to it. If you look on these top fork covers, they've added the pinstriping, which harks back to the 30s and 40s BMW bikes. I love the blacked out engine block and the chrome covers, heat shields all blacked out. Makes the bike look very stealthy. That black anodized exhaust actually ends up highlighting another heritage feature, which is the open nickel plated drive shaft to the back. The pinstriping is carried through onto the side covers over here and that bobber seat with the rocker style rear mudguard. And here's another cool feature, the stays that hold this rear mudguard up actually have the brake lights and the LED indicators built in on top. Overall stunning look, if you have a look at this, blacked out stealthy, the handlebars, the chrome bezel on the clock, not everything that was chrome is blacked out just enough to make it look stealthy and here and there a couple of chrome bits like the bezel around the headlights the spoked wheels are still there the petrol cap and the drive shaft even the controls down by the rider blacked out overall a stunning looking bike heritage bobber and really really reminds me of the concept bike Having a look at the second in the custom projects, same as the first one, bobber style. And I think the R18 lends itself really well to the bobber style and I think many, many customers and potential clients were quite disappointed that the final uh, project to the public was not in the style of a bobber. Now having a look at this, also bobber but very different to the first one we had a look at over there. I think the color in this uh, bronzy chrome copper is also very classy classical also started his life off as r18 pure first edition and if you look again a lot of the chrome parts not all of it engine cover the front of the engine the heat shields the foot controls have been blacked out the headers on the exhausts are original chrome however the tailpipes the end pieces very much shortened outlets both sides also opens up the open rear drive shaft to the back the rear mudguard much bigger than the previous model we looked at and i think this is the original mudguard just reshaped moved forward and repositioned that bobber seat much bigger than in that one over there and cleverly the original indicators positioned under the seat very cool looking a lot of blackout parts not too much and then the handlebars in a black dragster style bars with the handlebar end mirrors down to the bottom modern 
aggressive looking and what I love about this paint job if you look here they have the BMW logo in like a watermark on top of the tank they retain the pinstriping in black and here they have make life a ride in that paint job stunning looking piece I think more modern than the other one but also really stunning piece having a look at the third custom bike again this bike started off as an r18 pure and yet again it's in the bobber guys so i really do think this r18 lends itself well to the bobber look even bmw four ways custom bike ended up a bobber so maybe it's a bit of a pity that bmw did not launch the r18 pure or heritage as a bobber however looking back at this bike have a look at this paint job absolutely amazing how they got this wood look to it the whole thing is painted if you look at back end of the clocks the headlights front mudguard side covers under the seat and the rear mudguard all in that wood look and a lot of the chrome panels have been changed out to this aged looking brown um, the heat shield engine covers heat shield front and the bezels front and over here so overall stunning look a lot of thought gone behind it the wheels have a bit of a polish around the lip and that also accentuates it the exhaust has the chrome headers the heat shields brown but then these very short and stubby outlet pipes both sides and once again it highlights the feature of the open drive shaft to the rear the bobber seat with the two springs over here much smaller than the second bike we saw however bigger than the first bike overall stunning look really short rocker style rear mudguard going to the back this bracket has your led brake and indicators lights even your number plate here has the wood finish on the side stunning look going to the front another nice feature have a look at these dragster bars also finished in the wood finish and you also have the handlebar end mirrors this time turned up all the way to the front a lot of the chroming's been changed to this aged brown look and stunning really different look you have three bobbers four with the bmw four ways however different ideas and really final look is so different the first one very heritage this one very classic that seat on that one reminds me of the old 40s harley davidson's the 750s and the 1200s and this is just also old school in the wood finished here we have the fourth bike of the custom projects now very different this bike did not start life off as an r18 pure it started off as an r18 classic so you can see overall different look smaller wheels than that and i think the custom work on this bike is far more cosmetic than anything else mainly paint work yes the exhaust at the rear has been changed head is the same the first thing you can see the black dark with a pinstriping has been changed to a very brighter color this candy apple metallic reddish sort of look all the chroming or most of the chroming has been changed to this brushed aluminium look here the engine covers the heat shields even the side of the petrol tank has this brushed aluminium look your front bottom end of your forks you repeat it in the front and rear of the mudguard however my favorite part of this paint job would be the side covers here which has this bmw boxer motor as like a watermark into it at the back stunning look i think that's the favorite part about this whole paint job other than that i don't think too much work a lot of detail in the paint work with the brushed aluminium look overall here we have the fifth custom project now this bike also started off as an r18 classic and you can see like the previous one more subtle changes than they did with the bobbers starting off for example the seat you've got different seats with diamond pattern diamond stitching with a sissy bar on the back then going to the front your handlebars have been changed to these sort of raised ape hangers if you want to call them and then in the paint job it's still the same paint job in the pinstriping here you have this sort of silver shadow gun smoke looking in it also very classy a lot of the chrome parts like the heat shield uh, heads over there also in that same sort of gun metal gun smoke finish your 
bezels around your spotlights and your headlights in the same sort of finish. The pinstriping on the front mudguard have been taken out, yet they have been retained on the rear mudguard. And if you look carefully, that sort of shadow of the gun smoke silver is in here as well. Other than that, on a quick look visually, not too much different. Subtle changes, classy look, but again, it personalizes your bike. So I do think the two R18 classics have very subtle changes and very classy changes, where the R18 pures really go more radical and, and uh, here we have three of them and BMW 4 Ways' custom bike, which I'll blend in at the end of this episode, was also a bobber. So you have four bobbers that are really radical changes on the pures. I hope you enjoyed this episode with me and the look at the five different custom projects. And maybe together with the BMW 4 Ways custom bike, these six different ways you can customize your BMW R18. Maybe there's ideas in this episode that you can steal to customize your own BMW R18. But guys, if you enjoyed the episode with me, remember, give me a thumbs up, hit that like button, and most important of all, guys, please hit that subscribe button to help me build the channel. And if you like the reminder bell so you always know when I'm uploading new content.